of a week of training wrapped up. Yeah, it's been all right. Yeah, um, obviously with the game and this week, you know, it breaks up training a little bit different. Yeah, doesn't give you the time that you would like sometimes to work on things. But no, sometimes it's good. I thought it was good, good performance for him as midweek, and um, looking forward to getting another good performance tomorrow. How are Palmer and Chabala integrating? Yeah, very well. Um, good, good soccer players. Uh, quality on the ball. Um, good awareness off the ball. So, another good players, good additions to the squad. They do it differently now than the last time you were with them? Um, no, not at all. And um, that's why we brought them, because obviously I had good thoughts about them. Um, and I've worked with them previously. And um, as I say, Lavelle is a Jamaican international that plays right back for his national team. So, it's, it's, it's a position that he didn't play um, with the Dynamo at. In a different position, but um, I feel that probably his best role would be in that right back area. And Chabal, where do you see his, his best? Well, left back, you know, but the thing is, he's, he's two footed, uh, as we all are. He's kind of a little bit better with his both feet than most of us. Um, uh, he can play left back, which I think he did. I think he thought he played ever so well the other night. Um, he set himself a good standard now it's so fun to perform at that level consistently. Um, consistently. Um, as you say, he can play left back, he can play right back, he can also play. In a central midfield position at a bench if we need it for struggling with injuries and suspension. So he's a good, good, good all round soccer player. What do you anticipate the same formation starting lineup that you had in the uh, game against Columbus? You keep asking me that question every week, Jeff. I just asked you the answer. just one time today. Yeah, but you say the same thing. Okay, well. You know uh, I'm never going to tell you. To. How about Lavelle Palmer? Do you anticipate he'll, he'll him starting? Play. He will play. Yeah. Okay. Some part of the game. And with Mike? He will play some part of the game. No, okay, I'm just done with that. What, in, in terms of this game, you've already attached some importance to it in terms of it being an important... Uh, what's your sense of the players and how they're approaching this game and their sense of... Are they have the same sense of urgency that you have or you're trying to transfer to them or communicate to them? Um, I think we all know the importance of the game. You know, We all want to get the playoffs. The games are ticking down. Points are dwindling away, so there's, you know, less games means less points to, to get. Um, we know that we're just on the outskirts of you know, the playoff positions. Uh, we need to you know, get a few points on the board. And as I say, you, know, you get two or three wins, uh, you know, go undefeated for three or four games, you've got a chance of pushing yourself right in there. Uh, we're not a million miles away. Uh, not all, you know, as I say, get back to some decent home form and hopefully start tomorrow. Are you, is, does this team, are you even concerned that they'll be looking past Toronto into the Galaxy? No, I hope not. Uh, because I, I'm not, you know, we're, do a video meeting now for, for Toronto. It's going to be a tough game tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they're not, they're, they haven't travelled with their two DPs uh, for whatever reason. I don't know if they're injured, so um, obviously, De Guzman comes back in there possibly. Um, another DP. So, they, they, I mean, they've, they've got a good team. They've got Ryan Johnson, uh, who, who we all know, you know, Portland, came through Portland, got college ranks, and um, has an affinity with the place. So, a big, powerful guy there. You know, be looking to come here and do well. It's going, to be a, it's going to be a tough game. You don't get any easy games in MLS. You talk about no easy games in this league. Are there additional pressures, though, with this being at home and, and that team obviously struggling over the course of the season here? I think the, the, the good thing is when you play here, uh, the mentality doesn't drop um, expectation-wise from, from anybody, front office, supporters, players. It's, you're always under pressure to play well. And, um, and every game of Joe is, is a big, big game because the place is packed out every week, so... You don't walk into the stadium, you know, an hour before the game and it's empty. You don't come out for warm-ups and there's nobody there. You come in here and there's, for warm-ups, there's like eight and 9,000 people. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. It's like if you, if you don't realise that you're, that you're playing at a, a big club, uh, foundation-wise, support-wise, obviously you can, you can only class yourself as a big club when you start winning trophies as a player. Um, but uh, we've we'll definitely got the foundations of being a big, big club. As the players adjusted to that, John, the playing in front of big crowds. I mean, this, this group, knowing as you were saying that even when for warm-ups, there's five, six, seven thousand people out here. You get the sense that everybody's completely comfortable with that out there. I think that. Yeah, I mean, for me, I am. You know, I think you need to ask the players that. I don't know if, uh, if a player will tell you 100. <laughs> percent Honestly, if you can handle the pressure, I think you can see it in performances. It's always easy to see. I can do this or do that. It's a lot harder to actually go and do it. But no, I think that um, we put in some very good performances here at Joe Wynn and um, you know, we need another one tomorrow to get three points. Do you think there are any detrimental effects to some of these friendlies, international friendlies that have gone on at the, the All-Star game or potentially with what the, the teams you guys bring in, you know, the Sounders got blasted by United. Are there any detrimental effects that can carry over to league play? Uh, things well, I, mean, go your way? I can't speak for other clubs, I can only speak for us. Um, I think our games have been, have been great. I think we've put in 
you know what I'm saying? You know, with the likes of one day Ajax game, with the likes of you know, one Club America. But I think that we played well in them games. You know, I got to see a lot of young guys that probably, you know, you wouldn't get to see in an MLS environment just yet. You know, Chris Taylor came in and played, Freddie Braun played, Ronald played, you know, so they got a lot of minutes probably in the morning. So we get the chance to play guys that they were only playing in reserve games, we also get the chance to get guys some focus and some minutes. So it's been great for us. We were just having this discussion about how you feel about MLS playing these all star games against Manchester United getting beat badly. Do you think it's a good idea to make have you even thought about that? Do you think that can continue on? Or no, I think, I think you, you, must, you must be realistic in, in, in what you're trying to achieve. You know, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exhibition game. You know, it's a chance for the fans in the US to see players up close, you know, like you know, the Giggsies, the, the Rooneys, etc. Et You've got to understand how much they're spending on their salary cap. You know, it's a billion dollar team right you know and you're, you're saying that yeah well, you know we should compete why why should you compete you're talking about a team that went so close to winning champions league why do you think you should compete you know i think you're you're, you're looking at a totally different standard bottom line of players mm -hmm. you know, quality quality of you know world-class players in every position some young players coming off the bench from that point of world-class young players. Why in Major League Soccer do we think that we should compete with them? I think your, your ambitions are unrealistic at this present time. Change it to just having an MLS All-Stars against each other? No, I don't think so. I think it's great. Oh, okay. I, mean, okay. I really do. I think it's fantastic. Um, that, you, know, you just change the expectations of what Yeah, I think that you've all got to, you've got to Remember where we are as a league. We're only what, 15 years old. Right. Just United into a world institution, biggest club in the world. You know, and it's like, oh, we could be bad. No, you should get beat badly because Man United are a billion dollar team. You know, they've got world class players in 25 positions. The expectations are too high. The reason the bar too high too quick for me anyway.